Welcome to Module 3 of Sacramento Online Weather Spotter Training. This module will cover tornadoes, the most intense type of severe weather. Here are some photos showing several Northern California tornadoes. It's not always obvious when a tornado is in contact with the ground. The Maxwell Tornado Condensation Funnel was not visibly touching the ground, but witnesses did observe swirling in the grass below the funnel. The Roseville tornado damaged more than a dozen homes and was in contact with the ground when this photo was taken, but it's not visually obvious from a distance. The Nicholas tornado is visibly in contact with the ground, stirring up debris, perhaps water. Wall clouds are a lowered cloud connected to the base of a thunderstorm. This is generally known as the rain-free base. When a wall cloud is rotating, this can be where tornadoes form. Not all rotating wall clouds will have tornadoes, though. Some features, such as ragged low clouds called scud clouds, can be mistaken for wall clouds or even tornadoes. These low clouds may move quickly, but observing them should reveal their straight motion as opposed to rotation. Scud clouds are not well connected to the cloud base and also lack the smoother look of most wall clouds. The photo on the bottom right was taken just north of Oroville and shows a feature called the tail cloud which does not rotate and is not a wall cloud or a tornado. Other features that can fool people into thinking they're seeing wall clouds are shelf clouds and roll clouds. These features are frequently part of stronger, more mature, and organized storms in our area. They are not wall clouds, though, and form with the downdraft on the leading edge of a gust front. Shelf clouds do not rotate. Roll clouds are similar to shelf clouds, but can be more separate from the rest of the thundercloud. They can rotate horizontally ahead of the rest of the storm and are not the source of tornadoes. Shelf clouds are generally much longer than wall clouds and slope away from the downdraft. They are mostly associated with gusty winds, not tornadoes. Wall clouds are in the updraft and often point towards the downdraft. While shelf clouds are not the source for tornadoes, they can have a short-lived ground-based shallow vortex called a gust nado. They have no connection to the convective cloud above and are usually wispy or only visible as a debris cloud or dust swirl at or near the ground. They sometimes can do damage similar to that of a weak tornado. The average number of tornadoes in California is 9 a year. The previous 30 year average was 5 a year. Why the change? Most likely this is mainly due to the higher population density of California with tornadoes more evident in neighborhoods rather than out in empty fields. It is also likely better reporting by weather spotters. Most California tornadoes are in the Central Valley or along the coast, as is evident by the circle regions on the map on the left. Some tornadoes have been observed in the mountains, but these are much less common. The map on the right displays some tornado tracks over Northern California. Most of the tracks are short, as the typical tornado in this area is short-lived and does not go a long distance. Notable exceptions are two tornadoes which tracked from Glen County into Butte County back in 2011. These tornadoes each lasted more than an hour, which is very rare for Northern California. This ends Module 3 on Tornadoes.